It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I want to discuss the best way to get Polaris Soul Stones once Winterfest ends. Uh, yesterday, I put out a video discussing the Hero of the Day and how could you could take advantage of the Hero of the Day system in order to get uh, additional Polaris Soul Stones at the end of Winterfest. And, you know, as, as I expected, a lot of you pushed back about the the daily law i'm sorry the daily gift giving quest holiday every day i think yeah send these gifts every day to guildmates and by sending one of these every day you get a, a present back in a return and i understand that you do get additional rewards during this event if you are sending at least one gift of each kind per day or whatever so that was the one of the biggest things that you guys had as far as criticisms regarding you know my suggestion to wait till the very last day uh, of the of the Winterfest event in order to send the uh, the presents so you can maximize the amount of Polaris soul stones that you're going to get and if you're not sure what I'm talking about uh, then I linked a video in the description box down below about why you shouldn't send presents until the very last day of course this isn't going to be for everybody but uh, I wanted to kind of touch on this topic again uh, because the hero of Winterfest last year was Kayla and Aiden, but specifically Aiden was the final hero, the final hero of the uh, of the day, and you were able to double dip getting Aiden soul stones, and of course, because he's the hero of the day, you're able to get 20 soul stones that day, thanks to Hero Wars just giving us the daily reward, and that is going to certainly be the case uh, this year as well. Once the day comes around, we're going to get those those free 20 soul stones after we run through the little story mission here so yeah you get the 10 free for doing the story mission and you will get the 10 polaris soul stones i think for doing the story mission and then additionally you'll be given you know the 20 soul stones uh should be I'll, although i don't think that they're actually i don't know now that i think now that i said this out loud i'm not actually sure that they're they're doing the 20 soul stones every day but i wanted to discuss this idea that you're not going to have access to polaris ever again <laughs> <laughs> ever again and i know that's a pretty strong statement but hear me out okay guys aiden was one of the hero of the month for i'm sorry aiden was the new hero for winterfest and just to kind of break this down uh let's take a look at all of the things posted in 2023 uh, available opportunities to get aiden obviously in the soul atrium which we'll talk about in a second um i think that was it i i think the kayla and aiden event i think i think we i think that was a kayla focused i don't think that there was a way to get aiden soul stones any other time aside from during winterfest and obviously correct me if i'm wrong here but i think that's actually the case so if you take a look at the soul the uh the soul atrium obviously you can get come on obviously you can get aiden and of course kayla as grand prizes out of here but what are the odds of that like what are the odds of that what if that's the only way to get polaris soul stones for the next year right and polaris may not be that exciting to some of you but i know that some of you she is very exciting and she will potentially end up being one of the better heroes that you can level i'm not saying that everybody should level her i'm just saying that some people it will potentially be a good addition to their team i don't know what that looks like yet we don't know what her skins are going to be we don't know uh you know yet really the the meta popular teams though i've seen some really fantastic mage and control teams used with her I, I don't know like you tell me is is the, uh, the 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 meager amount of gifts that you get right uh, you know I receive one glyph cool uh, five Titan summoning spheres and the XP the uh, the triumph of light like is I, I think that the only I think the only thing that you're gonna get benefit is if you are a uh, a triumph of light battle pass owner enjoyer right the triumph of light the decorating the tree leveling up decorating the tree those gifts are all light light element gifts so i think if i were wanting to get the most efficient thing out of this and i also would have to have bought one or both of these battle passes i think the only gift every day that i would send would be the one gift of light and the one gift of darkness to get the extra from that because the one extra that you get free per day which you could just send it yourself by the way but the one extra that you get per day, you will stack that up as well as all the additional currency that you can just send to everybody at the end for all that additional currency. But other than that, guys, like where, where are you going to get Polaris Soulstones after this? Like where? 
is she going to be added to a shop? Is Kayla and Aiden added to a shop anywhere? Is is uh, is she going to be is she going to be added to the uh, Soul Atrium? Right now, a lot of you are going to be like, oh, I've already gotten 240, I've already gotten 300, I've already gotten 400 Polaris Soul, so I've already got six star Soul. You know, that's great, that's fantastic, good for you. Uh, you sent a ton of resources very early on. You did exactly what I'm suggesting, but backwards. You did you sent a ton of gifts up front, and you got a bunch of Soul Stones up front instead of waiting until the last day when it's more efficient. Congratulations, you know your arguing against doing the daily quests yourself but that's okay <laughs> you know, however however you want to justify it to yourself what i'm going to do is i'm going to send the minimum amount of gifts every single day in order to keep my uh, my guild happy the players that need more of the winterfest skin stones uh, i'm sorry winterfest skins excuse me i will continue to send those out honestly guys the the gifts that you get like the other gifts that you get day in and day out just for the the free like the uh, cool three of these metal artifact chat that that's awesome i i would be so happy to have 5,000 essence of the elements instead of you know 20 more polaris soul stones in a world where i can easily get these every single day but i can't get polaris soul, uh, soul stones ever you know what i'd absolutely prefer to have five huge xp potions today extra instead of saving that and getting additional you know polaris soul stones at the end only way to get polaris soul stones the only way is sending and receiving gifts during Winterfest and then probably from the Soul Atrium and they, no other way, no other way. So here in about six, not, six to nine months, uh, people are gonna be complaining about, you know, how can you get more Soul Stones for Polaris? I hope you, uh, hope you were able to catch these videos now and you can prepare for the last day of Winterfest. Hope everybody's having a great day. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.